Hi kids, it's Pastor Carolyn. Look what I've been doing this morning. I've been looking through my kids' costume bin. And what I discovered is there's a lot of superhero costume and accessories. Do you recognize this? This is Thor's hammer. What else is in here? Oh, here's his suit. I think this is Thor's suit. And you probably recognize this, Captain America's shield. Oh yeah, my kids love this one. The Hulk fists. And you probably know this one. Do you recognize who this is? <gasps> Spider-Man. What else can I show you in here? Oh, Iron Man. I like that guy, he likes to fly, right? What else we have? Oh, yeah. There's his mask, the Hulk. Well, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm just gonna put this down. Now, kids, did you know that the Bible, the Bible, it has superheroes in it too. Now, they may not have um, supernatural powers in their own strength, but through the power of the Holy Spirit, through God working in them, they did some pretty super, some pretty incredible things. And we're gonna be learning about them over the next six weeks. Now, there are some superheroes that we're gonna connect with, heroes of the Bible, and we're going to see how you kids can also be an everyday superhero for God if you allow his power his holy spirit to flow you through you and you can make a difference for jesus and his kingdom that's right now these are the six superheroes that you see on the screen that we're going to be studying and they are paired with a character a real person who lived two thousand years ago or more from the bible and Today, we're going to learn about a man named Simon Peter, and he had some similarities to another Peter that is a superhero that you may have seen in the movies or in the comic books. So I'm going to put a clip of this superhero and see if you know who this guy is. Well, kids, of course, it's Spider-Man. And do you remember what Spider-Man's real name is? It's Peter Parker. Now, did you know that Peter Parker, he was just an ordinary, regular high school kid, and some of the kids, they called him nerdy, only because he loved science and he studied a lot. But because of that, he had some trouble making friends and fitting in with the other kids at school because some of the mean kids there, they bullied him. Now, one day, Peter Parker, he got bitten by a radioactive spider and it changed his whole life. He got superpowers <laughs> that made him allow to shoot webs and scale walls like a real spider. And he made himself a costume that looked similar to this one, right? It had um, a mask to cover in his face and nobody could recognize him after that. And this allowed him to go out and fight crime, you know, the bad guys. Well, what happened to Peter Parker was random. It was an accident. You see, the radioactive spider, it could have bitten anyone but it just so happened to have bitten Peter Parker. Well, Peter Parker reminds me a little bit of the guy I was telling you about before who also has the name Peter in the Bible. Now, this guy's name was Simon Peter. And Simon Peter 
hap what happened to him, it wasn't random. It wasn't an accident. You see, Simon Peter was chosen by Jesus. And that's our theme today. I am chosen. Simon Peter in the Bible was chosen. Kids, you're chosen and I'm chosen. Now, Simon Peter, he, he was an ordinary guy and he was similar in age to Peter Parker and his um, job was a commercial fisherman. He worked with his family as fishermen and one day him and his brother Andrew, they were out fishing in their boat and guess what? They caught no fish, not one. And that was until they met Jesus. Now I'm going to read you the story from the Bible about when Jesus chooses Simon Peter. Now you can read this um, in your Bibles. It's from the book of Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 11. So this is what it says. One day as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats at the water's edge for the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Stepping into one of the boats, Jesus asked Simon Peter, its owner, to push it out into the water. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon Peter, now go out where it's deeper and let down your nets and you will catch many fish. Master, Simon replied, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, we'll try again. And this time their nets were so full, they began to tear. A shout for help brought their partners in the other boat and soon both boats were filled with fish on the verge of sinking. Can you believe it? They were that full. When Simon Peter realized what had happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh Lord, please leave me. I'm too much of a sinner to be around you. For he was awestruck by the size of their catch. And as were the others that were with him. His partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were also amazed. And Jesus replied to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be fishing for people. And as soon as they landed, they left everything and they followed Jesus. Jesus chose Simon Peter and 11 other ordinary guys to follow him. They weren't rich, they weren't super smart, they weren't even really talented, just regular guys. And they had a choice whether or not they wanted to follow him. And oh yes, Jesus chose them first. There's that word I was telling you about, chosen, I am chosen. Jesus chose them first, but you know kids, they then had to make the decision whether or not they would follow him. Now, God used Simon Peter because he said yes to him to do some pretty incredible things. And did you know kids, Simon Peter, he was the guy in the Bible that walked on water. <laughs> we know Jesus walked on water, but Simon Peter walked on water too. And he did this because he had great faith. And I think you should read this story in the Bible because it's pretty incredible. Now, Simon Peter, when you read the story, it says that he started to walk on water because of his great faith in Jesus. But then he started to sink and he started to drown. And Jesus had to reach out and grab his hand and save him from drowning. I mean, this would be such an incredible movie scene. Can you just imagine it? Um, it's waves, the waves are going, it's windy, and the water, the lake is so deep. And here is this guy, Simon Peter, who's all in for Jesus, who has this great faith 
that Jesus will allow him to walk on water and he starts walking on water. And well, we know that he started to sink, but kids, what happens when we take our eyes off Jesus? We start to doubt and we start to lose faith just like Peter did. But guess what? God reached out, Jesus reached out to save Peter from drowning and he does the same for us too, kids. When we start to waver in our faith and doubt, he reaches out to help us. Now, kids, Jesus has chosen you. And being saved, it's not automatic. Just because he chose you, right? You're chosen by God. You have to make the decision whether you want to follow him or not. Kind of like this Simon Peter guy. Now, kids, I made the decision to follow Jesus. When I was the same age as Peter Parker and this Simon Peter guy, I was a teenager, and I felt God speaking to my heart, come and follow me. It wasn't an audible voice. It was something that was stirring in my heart, and I knew he was calling me to him. And I made the decision to follow him, and it was the best decision I could have made. And kids, if you haven't made that decision to follow him, to give your heart to Jesus, you can do that today. We can pray. And the cool thing is, when you do that, the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of you. And it's through the power of that Holy Spirit that God does incredible and powerful and like superhero type things in your life. You may not be able to walk on water or fly, but I'm telling you, I have seen miracles happen. I have seen God speak to me and use me to be a blessing to others. And he can do the same for you. So why don't we um, pray now? Because it's through that power of the Holy Spirit that he will help you through hard times that will come in your life, kids. And he will use that power, the Holy Spirit, to help you help others. Superheroes love helping others. They love um, being used for good. And God wants to do the same for you. He wants to use your life to be a blessing to others and to do good. So why don't we pray right now and ask uh, Jesus to be Lord of our life. If you've never done that, you can pray with me now. So Jesus, we thank you that you call us. You have chosen us to be your children. And we respond by saying, yes, Lord, we want to follow you. So we say, Father, forgive us for the sin in our lives. Thank you for dying on the cross to take our penalty. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you come fill us now with your power. Jesus, live in our hearts that we may be used for you, for your kingdom, for your glory, and we love you. Amen. All right, kids, I want to tell you about this challenge that I have for you. I'm going to be visiting each one of you, and when I come to visit you, there's going to be a superhero card that I give you. Take a look at the card right there. And on this challenge card, there's a contest. So you get to dress up like a superhero or you can make a costume or a mask and then get your parents to take a photo of you and they can text it or they can email it to me. And then once I receive that, I'm gonna put your name into a draw for a prize. Now, I'm going to pause the video so I can grab that prize and you can see what it is that you can win. Here it is, kids. It's the Action Bible. And I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but this is the Bible and it's all written so it looks like a comic book. But the words and everything in them are words that you would find in a regular Bible, but it's illustrated and there's a lot of cool stories in here. So if you want to have a chance at winning this prize, you just need to dress up as a superhero or make a costume, send in that photo, and then 
you need to have it in by um, June, what did I say here? June the 13th, okay? And then we will do the draw. I'll do it uh, a video to see who won. And if you don't win and you kind of think this is a cool uh, thing that you'd like to have, maybe your moms or dads can buy it for you. Okay, now, part of, um, I'm gonna be visiting you, all right? So we're gonna do a backyard visit or we can um, meet on your front drive. And then I'm gonna give you your superhero treat pack, okay? I don't wanna give away what it is, but uh, you'll get a sheet that looks like this. And here's what I want you to do, kids. I wanna challenge you. I want you to watch all six of these online videos for our superhero theme. And then I want you to um, read in your own Bibles the stories that we're gonna be learning about. So today we learned I am chosen. So you've watched the video, you can check mark that off. And then I want you to open your Bible to, it says here, Luke 5, 1 to 11. Read it with your parents. If you don't know how to read, get your parents to read it for you. If you can read, that's great. Check it off. And once you have check marked all of these things, get your parents to let me know you completed your card and then I'm going to send you a gift card in the mail, all right? And they can either email that, they, that you've completed this or they can text me, whatever it is. But I'm challenging you to read the Bible, read these cool stories. The Bible is full of adventure and God's power working through these real people. Now, join me next week, kids. We're gonna be learning that you are chosen, you are called, sorry, I am called. We know that I am chosen. We're going to learn that I am called. Now, see this guy here? We know that's the Hulk. And we're going to learn about the real person called Samson, who was really, really, really strong from the Old Testament. So I want you to tune in next week for this um, story. And I have a song that I think you're going to enjoy and uh, if you like Lego, you'll probably like this. So we're going to end off with our superhero song. I'll see you next week.